Hello Excellus, welcome to the Smart Excel. This video is the continuation of my third video on smart work. So just uh, refer to my previous video before going to this video. So my previous video was like I was having big file names and when I want to copy these names for my database and when I send to mail recipient it does not happen so what I have to do is I have to create a shortcut on my desktop because this does not happen because the files are too high it's 2.26 GB so I will make a small shortcut on my desktop so once the shortcut is done I can get this on board and from this I will be sending to mail recipient and it will go to Microsoft Outlook. So this has to be categorized, uh, has to be placed in an easy and simple manner so you can just right click with the selections. So you, you don't need to go one by one. And you can see in Outlook, the names have been added. So these names I will be taking and I will be copying these names and I will be pasting in my Excel file. So I already have done that, but there is one more issue in that. I have segregated the name but I forgot to clear the extensions so what should have been done is before clearing the extent we should have removed the extensions so the extensions can be removed in uh, different ways you can uh, there is file name extension but still there is certain sort of extension which has been taken so how to get rid of this extension because I don't need that extension names so I already have done this I have already segregated in so I'm going to do it once more so this is my raw data so I'll be copying this and I will be pasting it here so here I will be doing is I will be going to data text to column and a delimited for segregation so first of all I will be checking the backslashes because in the so I will be adding this here so you can see it has been cut now once this is done we are doing next and I will be pasting the same area so this is going to be the same area and I am going to finish so it's say okay. So my data has already been cut. Now again, what I will do is I will be doing the same thing over here. I'll go to text to columns data, text to columns, and here I will be changing this into a dot. So you can see now this has been segregated. So I have to do, we have to do that twice, and then I'm going to do is finish. You can see it is already been cluttered. So now this is the data which I require. I can paste it in this way. Now the same thing if you want to do is in Power Query how to do that also. So just to select this area. So it's a single it's a single row a column so you can select and rename it delete it and put enter from here you can table and range so it will take you to the power query window and now you can split column by delimiters so you can see by delimiter So the advanced option is you can have if you have one you will have only shortcut to g that's it so you can it will segregate into three three columns so it is like column wise and i can do is custom and i'll be using a slash so once i do okay so it already has been 
segregated into three, but still there is w dot e w m, which I want to get rid of. So now you can again you have to go there and do the delimiter, and automatically you can see custom has taken dot by default. Now if you do OK, you can see it's already been segregated. If you want, you can convert this into a table by choosing this a table or I will just be keeping this into a connection right now. I will go back again. I will double click this. And what I will be doing is I will be I can copy the whole entire table. I will copy the entire table. Close and load. And I can paste it here. So we can just see it has been split into different types. So we can just copy this. Copy this. And you can paste it here. So in case if you have forgotten to remove the WEM, the other way around it can be done is you can remove in a simple way. If you use Control H, and you can type WEBM and replace with none. Just leave it blank and do replace all. So you can see automatically this has been replaced. Now you can select this and cut this also. So different, there are different types of uh, different ways and different uh, different ideas you can implement or whichever you like. So I feel this is going to be a good video and a helpful video for smart work. So if you like this video, please share and uh, please give your comments and uh, please hit the bell icon. And please encourage me to make such smart work videos more and more. And thanks for watching. And we will be seeing you in the next video. But before going, we'll have to see this outlook has been discarded. So now we don't require this. So 27 files once means it's still okay. You can keep on. If you have 100 files, you can do three, four times or five times. So you can build a fast database instead of typing and copying and pasting one by one. So thanks for watching. See you soon.